In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an NFC NTAG215 sticker by NXP. You can then use that on the back of a business card as a prox token at 13.56 MHz. And also you can scan it on a mobile phone and have it open a website or do various functions. Append the unique identifier uh, to the end of the URL and also a token counter so you can basically track how many times that card has been scanned. So this is the reader I'm going to use, the HID OmniKey 5022. And there's a screenshot of the front and back of the business card, uh, BreeCS front normal and then the back right in the middle the nfc sticker to obtain drivers uh, for the hid omnikey reader you can basically go to hidglobal.com forward slash drivers and then basically select omnikey the type make model that you've uh, that you've purchased and the operating system that you're using to get the software that i'll be using which is tag explorer by NXP, you can go to the nxp.com website and then download this software. It's a Java download, so it does require the Java runtime uh, environment to be installed, but information on that can be obtained from their website. I have purchased the tags uh, from a company called NFC Tagify, and these are the 25mm round clear NFC stickers. Again, you can purchase these wherever you uh, see fit. This is just where I purchased them from. So within the Tag Explorer software, basically the reader is connected via USB. I'll click connect to reader. Then I'll put the token, uh, the business card, which has the sticker onto the reader. And I'll click connect tag. Now we've got two options. As we can see, this is an NTAG215. We've got NDEF operations and NTAG operations. NDEF can be a simple way to write an NDEF basically for a website URL or plain text, V card, Wi Fi, email, so on and so on and so on. If we jump over to NTAG operations, you can read out all of the data by selecting zero and then the highest 13486. In this instance, for the specific tag, and click read. And it will just spit out all the data here and above. User configuration, enable strong modulation ticked, and enable NFC counter, as I just mentioned. So each time the card is scanned, the chip on it is updated with the most recent count. You can lock certain bits. The counter, if I click read, each time that the card is read, that counter will increment. So if I disconnect, remove the card, Place it back on and click connect and read the counter again. It's now gone up by one. Signature, set in passwords and generic version information about the tag itself. This is under ntag21x as in 21 and a version. I'm using 215. If you're using a different type of tag, then you've got various options at the top here. To add the extra functionality when a card is scanned on a mobile phone, for example, to add that unique identifier and to add the incremental counter, we basically, rather than using NDEF, we use NTAG operations. And we'll click on mirroring features. Here we can type in a website address. In this example, I'll use breezehess.com. And I'll select add the tag UID and add the interaction counter. It will show just zeros here, but basically once it writes that to the device, or should I say to the tag, and you scan the tag, obviously the UID will remain static, but the inter uh, <clears throat> interaction counter will go up by one each time it's scanned. So if I write that to the tag, that was successful. So you've seen me present this card in a recent video to both Suprema and Hikvision readers. As I believe it's my fair, I'm not sure the exact uh, make model, but I know it's my fair 13.56 megahertz. It also works with iEvo. But let's now scan that card on my mobile phone and I can show you basically open the website. If you're using Android or you're using an iPhone 11 or above, I believe, 
there is no app that's required it will just scan the card natively and then prompt you to open the website once the card has been scanned um, I'm using an iPhone 10 so unfortunately for me I need to use a separate application to read the information on the card or to have that action that's been set um, basically take place which I'll show you now so as you can see we're using the NFC tag info app by NXP so if we do scan and show this will then give us uh, the information that's on the card uh, which in this case is a web link and a record of link it goes to briefcess.com question mark m equals the unique identifier x with the interaction counter if i go back and do that again as we can see the counter at the end has gone up by one now if we click scan and launch as we can see once we present the card to the phone it opens briefcess.com as we programmed earlier and as mentioned earlier if you're using android or you're using ios or should i say iphone 11 or above i believe it is then this functionality is built into the phone without the need for any additional apps you basically you would basically scan your business card or your customer would and it would basically prompt them to open the website that you've pre-programmed okay guys thanks for watching